Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. Uh, if you're here, you're probably having a bad day. I've got a 2000 model Chevy S10 2.2. Um, I thought I was having fuel pump problems. Now, if anybody ever tells you that it takes multiple people to take a bed off their truck, they ain't close to enough. Remove the bolts from the bottom. Take you some ratchet straps to go under a tree limb and just ratchet it on up, get it out of your way. Now where I made a mistake was, is I should have tested the fuel pump, but I didn't. I went ahead and got another fuel pump and replaced it, and I was having the same problem. Um, I turned around and checked my voltage to my fuel pump, and I wasn't receiving any. So, then I got to wonder what was going on. Did I have bad wires? Well, in order to test my wires, I ran, I ran a line from my battery to my fuel pump relay. Um, if you can't read a relay, well, I tested my relay first. But if you can't read a relay and know which ones to to wire it into. Google it or find out or get a professional. Uh, but I ran my wires to my relay and I tested my voltage in the back. I was receiving voltage at that point. So then my mind went to wondering about crankshaft position sensors, your oil pressure sensor, things like that. But I wasn't receiving a prime. So I wasn't getting the initial voltage when I turned the key on. So that leads me to the ECU. Here is your ECU. It very rarely ever goes out. Now, some people will call it an ECU. Um, I think there's some other acronyms for it. It very rarely goes out. But sometimes it does. I replaced the ECU. I might need to put the company in in the description. It's all computer something. They did a wonderful job. I sent them a VIN number the serial number off my old ECU. They reprogrammed it, flashed it, sent it to me, and now when I put the key in, it fires right up and purrs like she should. Okay, uh, I hope this helps somebody. God bless you, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Hello, bye-bye.